On Wednesday evening, the Browns announced they placed wide receiver Anthony Swartz on IR. They then claimed wide receiver Jalen Darden. Darden is a promising prospect with upside at the age of only 23. He was drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the fourth round at pick 129. In the 2021 NFL Draft, he signed his four-year rookie contract with Tampa Bay on May 19th. The Bucks then released him on December 6th, 2022. Darden was claimed just a day after by the Browns. Darden played in North Texas from 2017 to 2020. During his career, he had a school record 230 receptions for 2,782 yards and 38 touchdowns. As a senior in 2020, he was the Conference USA MVP and was named an All-American by ESPN and USA Today after recording 74 receptions for 1,190 yards and 19 touchdowns. He was also a finalist for the Earl Campbell Tyler Rose Award. In the NFL, Darden has returned 50 punts for a 9.4 yard average. He has 21 kickoffs for 20.3 average yards per return also. Darden has appeared in 21 games over the past two years. He has eight receptions for 69 yards and a pair of touchdowns during the preseason. Being slotted behind the Bucks' loaded receiver depth chart, he sat behind Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Julio Jones, and Scotty Miller for the time being, and now he will be looking for a fresh start on a not-so-deep Browns receiver roster. Cleveland are ranked 11 in punt return yard average this season in the NFL. They are currently 10.5 yards on 24 attempts. With Joaquin Grant tearing his ACL training camp and Anthony Schwartz heading to the IR, Peoples-Jones and Darden will battle for the returner role. Peoples-Jones has averaged 14.8 yards per return. He's had 13 returns, totaling 193 yards and the recent touchdown in his past game. Let's see if Darden can provide a spark and take a role on the roster as a return man. That's all from me, and as always, go Browns! Hoo!